Hi. So next question is, if 40-year bond is purchased at a discount, the bond has annual coupons, the amount of accumulation of discount uh, in the 15th coupon is 194.82, and the amount for accumulation for the amount of for, uh, for accumulation discount in the 20th coupon is 306.69. Uh, calculate the amount of discount in the purchase price of the bond. Okay, so they're giving us some time intervals and they're talking about accumulation of discount. So we're trying to find an incremental discount within a period, not discount as a whole. So we think of this equation again. This represents the incremental amount of discount. Also, it represent it could be used for incremental amount of premiums as well. Now, it says that uh, the amount for accumulation of discount the fifteenth coupon is one ninety four point eight two. Well, there are forty years, so what we do is we do full v to the forty minus the fifteenth coupon. And then we simplify it, and then we get twenty minus fifteen plus one. Get v to the twenty six, and we set this equal to one ninety four point eighty two. The next one is uh, for the twentieth coupon, right? So it would be uh, V to the 40 minus 20 plus one. So it would be V to the 21 in whole. And we set it equal to 30669. Now we're gonna have to simplify it in some sort of way to calculate the amount of discount in the purchase price of this bond. So we're gonna have to divide both equations to find what V equals to. So we divide, so we're gonna do 26 minus 21 and we're gonna get V to the five and we're gonna divide both of these numbers. And we get 0.6352, Now let's move this five to the other side. I'm going to use my big calculator. I'm going to do 0.6352342 to the one fifth. And now I'm going to get point V equals point nine one three two four three nine one now, what am I going to do is that once I get V, I'm going to try to find the interest rate, right? So we know that V equals 1 plus I. Right? So we're going to move this to the other side. We're also going to move this to the other side as well. So we're going to do... 1 over 0 0.913243913931 and we're going to get 1.09499721 and then we're going to subtract 1. And we're going to find out that i equals to 0 0.09499771 to one. Now the next part of the equation is that still we need to calculate the amount of discount in the purchase price of this bond. So we found we were working with the incremental discounts within 
the timeline, but now we need to find out the amount of discount as a whole. So, what we have here is that we're gonna have to either plug in i into either either of these equations that we were working with, right? So we could do um, we can take the discount of one nine four eight two. And we can use this interest rate, right? So we're gonna do 1.095 to, to round it up to the 26th. Right, and then we're gonna solve it and we're gonna get 194.82, 1.095 to the 26th. So we can get Two zero six two point five three one seven. Then we're going to take that amount and then we're going to uh, discount it, uh, discount it back to time zero to find the amount of accumulation, uh, amount of discount. So A to the, how many years is it? 40 to the interest rate that we found out, so 9.5%. So I'm gonna take my calculator. Take my calculator. I'm gonna do two zero six two dot five three one seven. The payment forty number of years. So we find out that the present value is 21,135 and 27 cents. So the answer is E. So now let's go back to what we just did. So we know that whenever there's like accumulation of discounts within like the incrementals given like 20th, 15th coupons, we always use this equation because this formula denotes the amount of discount. That's why we plug in 40 and 15 for this coupon to set it to equal 194.82. We also do the same for this one to set it to equal to this. Then we just have to combine them, like uh, divide both of them, figure out a ratio to find out that the effective interest rate is 9.5%. Uh, then we have to use uh, either one of these equations to uh, figure out the accumulation of discount. So basically um, from 194.82, right? So basically 194.82's equation is saying that we would need a discount back 26 years to get to this uh, amount of discount, right? Because starting from the last coupon payment of 40, and since this is the 15th coupon plus one, this amount actually represents the 26th uh, coupon payment or 26th amount of um, 
discount, right? So that is why what once we find the interest rate by combining these two, we're just gonna we could use either one, but um I chose to use one ninety four point eighty two. We use that interest rate that we found, and instead of discounting back twenty six to get one ninety four point eighty two, we're gonna pull that over to the front by accumulating it by twenty six, right? So once we move it out like farther back in the timeline, then we're able to discount it back to time zero. So then we could find the amount of discount in the purchase price of this bond as a whole. And again, using the present value concept is basically the discounting uh, concept as well. When we're finding present value, we always have to find a discount as well. So 